Well, hello and good morning, everybody. Saigon Cat here. We're coming back for some more root. We're gonna do our last tutorial, the Woodland Alliance. I've played against the Woodland Alliance a few times, never played as them. Let's jump in. Now, if you're wondering where the multiplayer game that Perry and I played is, <laughs> that I promised, uh, we got early accessed and the game bugged on one of the AI turns and they refused to take their turn so we couldn't play. So we'll make another attempt at it <laughs> in the future. <laughs> um, but in the meantime, we do have uh, the Woodland Alliance tutorial and they've also added challenges. And of course there's solo and online play. So it's not the end of root content. The upstart Woodland Alliance wish to unite the creatures of the forest and revolt against their oppressors. They score by spreading sympathy for their cause across the woodlands. Being the underdogs, we don't start with any warriors or supporters on the map. Instead, we begin with three supporters that can be that can spread sympathy tokens for our cause. So our goal right now is to spread five sympathy tokens. Each clearing where we can spread sympathy has a supporter cost. We have to spend a supporter to spread sympathy in the fox clearing below. We can spread sympathy multiple times in one turn if we have the supporters, so long as we expand from an existing sympathetic clearing. Select a second clearing to spread sympathy to. These are our, our supporters down here. Nice work. Placing our second sympathy scores us one victory point. The higher we go on the sympathy track, gaining sympathy costs more supporters and scores more victory points for us. At the start of daylight, sympathy contribute the suit Ah, Sympathy contribute the suit of their clearing towards paying crafting costs, just like the Eerie Roosts and Marquis workshops. So let's do some crafting. So that means right now we have access to one fox and one bunny worth of crafting. So we're either going to be making crossbow or anvil. Use Mobilize to turn the remaining cards in our hand to supporters. You can't hold more than five supporters until you build a base. <clears throat> the revolution has awakened, but for now it is time to rest. Don't listen to this woodland rabble. Ignore this heresy. <laughs> I'm sorry. The Marquise is your rightful ruler. Building support was just the beginning. Now it's time to rise up and revolt. We have to spend two supporters matching the suit of the clearing to cause revolt. A revolt destroys all opposing units, tokens, and buildings in that clearing. Then you build a base there with warriors equal to the number of sympathetic clearings of the same suit. We can only have three bases in the forest, one for each clearing type. Looks like an officer has arrived as well with our new base. <sighs> He'll help to direct our evening military operations. All right, where do we want to spread sympathy to? Picking up a mouse clearing is definitely what we want to do. Uh, strong Marquis presence here. 
You may craft or mobilize the card in your hand. It's up to you. You now have access to a number of evening military operation actions equal to the number of your officers. Use your one military action to recruit a warrior. Time to quell those rabbit rousers. The puns are on point. Perfect animal puns. When an opponent moves warriors into a sympathetic clearing or destroys a sympathy token, it causes outrage. This forces your opponent to add a card from their hand that matches the clearing to your supporters. You are being attacked. Thankfully, the Woodland Alliance are masters of guerrilla war. When defending, you take the higher die in combat as if you were the attacker. We've been outfoxed. Spread sympathy, craft cards, and remove enemy buildings to score 15 victory points and complete the scenario. We can't spread sympathy anywhere. Bunny clearing? I don't think I can put supporters there, can I? Nope, can't add sympathy there. I can get some more sympathy up here, though, so that's... Yeah. Your opponent remove your sympathy token, scoring a victory point. Tokens can't be attacked in battle, much like warriors, but they can't be attacked. Ah, they can be attacked, but they can't fight back. Did I just lose my rabbit clearing? I think I did. Yeah, I totally did. Got some outrage, though. You have a new daylight action, training. Discard a card from your hand matching the suit of one of your bases to train an officer, allowing you to take more evening actions. Officers come from the same reserve as your warriors. Beware, when this supply runs out, you can't recruit either type. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Oh, right. Right. I had two officers. Herp derp. Hey, man, your mistake. I love the supporter is just still standing there on a stump with a megaphone like, oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, golly. Yay, now we can revolt. Could I not revolt here? Why could I not revolt here? I'm confused. Maybe I needed additional mouse? I don't know. Alright, but why not? Oh, okay, because it costs that one plus however many I have. Got it! Got it! I probably could have held off on revolting then. Each item player's craft is taken from the supply. Once the item is sold out, cards that reward that item can no longer be crafted. Doesn't affect us too much in this scenario, but when you're playing with a Vagabond, it does. Well, we can also use this for other things. Um, mobilize. Yeah. I still want to craft this bake sale, because <laughs> three victory points is no joke. We need another bunny, though. <laughs> oh, I'll be able to spread sympathy there on my, my next turn. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. It's my f <laughs> this is seriously the most interaction I've ever had playing Woodland Alliance. Usually I just watch them, like, snowball in the last three turns of the game, and then wonder how I lost. Hmm. Why can I not move here? Oh, that's a river! Dang it! That happened to Perry when we were playing also. She had, like, this excellent plan ready and then like she realized that this is a river and not a road and she can't use it also a river yeah no i guess we'll just yep we're we're skipping
Mm -hmm. That we can spread sympathy here. And we can spread sympathy. What did I do? <laughs> I didn't do what I intended to do. Dang it. Whatever, it still works. Oh, right. Yeah, we can also use our warriors to spread sympathy. That's right! Okay. Bake sale! <laughs> Vive la resistance! Bake sale! <laughs> All right. I kind of want to craft sappers. That's fine. What we're actually going to do is we're going to move... One of our guys over here to raise sympathy. So you can see how quickly Woodland Alliance can get out of control. They, uh... You can pull off some, some really cool plays with them if you've got that big brain energy. I've seen it happen. It's been depressing every time. I think the first time I was playing, I was playing as the Vagabond, and I decided to uh, com go completely all in on the Marquise de Cat because they were doing really well. Like, or it, <clears throat> it, it, They definitely looked like they were going to ramp up. Looking at the board, I was like, all right, Marquise is going to do well. They're in last place right now. I'm going to go all in, all in with them. And help them to skyrocket to like 37 victory points. And then Woodland Alliance just freaking came out of nowhere. They went from last place to winning the game in like five turns. It was just bonkers. So... That is the Woodland Alliance. Uh, when we come back next time, we're going to take a look at some of these challenges, which are kind of interesting to me. So you've got, uh, looks like, different game types, and then a couple of things that kind of lock you in, like players can only move through, or players may move through rivers, so that would open up that particular one. Castle Siege, you can't win unless the Marquis' keep is destroyed. What is this statehood? You start with a base on the map in a corner space with one warrior and one officer. You cannot start revolts. Training costs you an additional matching card. Ah, That sounds rough. We'll start checking those out next time. Thank you for watching, everybody. This is Cat.